Welcome to my channel, bro. Right, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, so support your channel, grow spiritually, connect with your higher self. So, what I want to talk about in this video was a uh, um, some one of my homies asked me this question. So it's about I think he said like, how do you become a god, right? So when you think about becoming a god, right, within yourself, it's basically you connecting with your highest self. You becoming the greatest version of yourself. So I want to go in depth in that thoroughly you feel me and this video is for only black people only so if you're not black it, this is not for you but so what I, so when it comes to spirituality right people got to realize like the re spirit bro spirituality is a tool to reach your highest self you feel me like when you because like nowadays you can find a lot of fakers within the spiritual community i met them all my nigga god like People think that when it comes to being spiritual, you got to be a good person or completely. You got to be just an angel or they, they act like it's just about tarot card reading, readings and having crystals. Like people don't really dive deep into it at all. bro. I'm telling you, like it's a lot of people in the community that's not really conscious or spiritual at all. They just think they're really onto it because they do tarot card readings or they um they got crystals or sell crystals like pe i'm telling you it's a lot of fakers in this community so what i'm about to do is i'm about to talk to you explain in this video a deep side of this shit so what people got to realize is when you be when you awaken yourself when you become conscious about your spirit self you have the whole the only bro when you be, when you when you become aware of your spirit you become conscious of yourself and we're about to dive into spirituality. Spirituality is obviously it's a way of life, but it's like a, it's like it goes by levels. It's levels to spirituality. And, and as you when you keep keep passing these great levels, you become your highest self. And you master yourself. So spirit spirituality is is about mastering yourself. It's not about just get it crystals and tarot card re readings and that bullshit people will sit here and tell you that they a divine god is just because they can give you a tarot card reading or just because they know something about crystals and, but they don't know nothing about themselves i'm telling you and pe the people that pose to be that are posing to be spiritual teachers and stuff or like they will sit here and act like they like if they got if they selling crystals and they act like they so divine and smart and intelligent or it'd be people that be giving up tarot card readings and be thinking they so smart and intelligent i'm telling you they haven't these people don't even beat level one of spirituality they literally they're not what they say they are not i'm telling you but let me explain to you what it is right so when it comes to spirituality this is mastering yourself it's all about mastering thyself but when you master yourself it's different aspects of self you have to master there's different consciousnesses and different parts of self that you have to master, like chakras, different energy centers that you must master. Also, um, there are righteous divinity, divine principles that you must master. There's things that you must master to become the greatest version of yourself and master spirituality and become a true master. Like they will sit here and be a tarot card reader and tell you that they're a master of spirituality and pose to be a divine master this shit when they have not even beat level one this now what this, now what's level one now if you look right here this is that's the root chakra so let me explain to you now when it comes to the root chakra this is where you ground yourself you connect to your earth remember this is a key point as well for you to master spirituality and master yourself you have to become one with all elements you have to become one with everything, become one with the earth as well. So this, this is the root. This is what the root chakra does for you. This is why it's your lower world. Also, what you get, what do you have in your lower world? Your feet. What do your feet do? Walks around the earth, right? This is why you ground yourself and go out in nature and touch the touch the earth and walk in it barefoot. Also, when you walk in nature barefoot with, and this is your lower world, um, your feet is connected to every aspect of your body. So as you put your feet in nature and nature gives these uh, these healing electromagnetic energies, 
and sends them through your foot, it goes through your whole body because your feet is connected to every part of your body. Realize that. So when you ground yourself and you connect with your root chakra, you have to touch the earth as well. And you, as you master your lower world, which is your root chakra, your roots, you master the you master earth you master the earth element if that makes sense that's why you have to do a lot when it comes to grounding but you also have to realize to be to do this and to master this chakra fully what aspect of what aspect of mind is your root chakra it is your securities about yourself and it's about and it is it is um your how you feel about yourself and this is why the ego is also in this chakra because your ego tampers with this chakra specifically. This is why your ego keeps you in your root chakra. Your ego is the side of you that is like that wants things all the time. That um lust that be lusting, greed, envy, jealousy. These negative emotions is at your root chakra. And this is your ego. Now, when you think about the tree of life, the tree of life, what is the what when you think about the tree of life? What is the one thing that you got to beat within the tree of life? It is your ego because you are Hey Root. Hey Root represents a spiritual student. So Set, the Egyptian god Set, he represents your ego. He represents your lower self. Now, let me get it real quick. Hold on. Let me get my book real quick. I don't even want to do it. I don't even want to do it. But, well, let me do it real quick. Let me do it real quick. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Like that. Now, like what I was saying, set, he represents your ego. He represents your lower self. So let me find a page real quick. Let me find a page real quick. So like I was saying, so when you are defeating your lower self, you have to defeat set. Set is your ego. You have to defeat your ego. This is level one of spirituality. So look at it right here. Look at this picture right here. This is the tree of life right here. Right here. This is you. You're at the bottom. That's you at the bottom. Now, look at the who's on the first level of this tree of life. Right here. That's set. This is your ego. This is this is the low level. This the tree of life is a bro. Look at look at it again. This is the tree of life. You start at the bottom right here. You go. You then you rise up here. But I'm about to explain. It. So. I just showed you sets. That's your ego, your lower self, your lower level of thinking. You have to, what you got to do is you have to beat your ego. This is level one. That's level one, literally. Defeat your ego. Because if your ego is in the way, you cannot connect with your soul because your ego separates you from your connected to your eternal soul. Now, let me keep explaining. So this is, this is your root chakra. So what you got to do is you have to, that's, this is your lower self. You have to defeat your ego. This is why Hey Ru will, will go against Set. He will fight his lower self. You have to beat your inner animal. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. When you defeat your lower self, you have to destroy your ego. You have to stop being all envious. You got to stop being envy. You got to stop being greedy. You got to stop being jealous. You got to stop being... Um, you gotta stop. You gotta stop all those negative emotions. You gotta stop being in your ego, who always wants something negative, money hungry, all that. You have to stop that. You have to kill that side of yourself, and the side that's be, that be jealous and stuff like that. You have to destroy that to beat your root chakra. Literally, that's all you have. That's what you gotta do. And this is the tree of life. I'm explaining it to you. So, so the, that's literally level one. You have to defeat your ego and so when you defeat your ego you get rid of these negative thoughts these always want validation seeking validation ego always want always always in your ego when you defeat that 
when you defeat your inner set, which is your lower self, you um when you defeat that side of yourself, you move on to the next one and you ground yourself and it start to become secure about yourself. Stop worrying about certain things that you don't need to worry about. Stop lusting after things you want that isn't what you shouldn't worry about. Stop being greedy. Stop seeking violation. When you break from that, then this is when you when you cut those thoughts off and you cut off that consciousness. You elevate your mind to another re reality. Then this is where you get to start loving yourself because you don't need validation from other people. So then as you defeat your lower self, you defeat the inner set, defeat your ego. You start doing you start um, doing inner work and then you start going out in nature and you connect with the root chakra. This is when your root chakra is balanced because you connected with nature. Right. So. That's very important. That's level one. My thing is, a lot of people claim to be divine. They haven't beat their ego yet. They still be seeking validation, claiming they're on the path. It's, it's sad. But that's what you literally got to do. That's the main part of spirituality. You have to defeat your ego inner sets. But here's the thing. As you defeat your, your lower self, you still don't, you're not supposed to hate your lower self at all. You still have this is the side of yourself that you just got to keep in control and use when you have to use it. This is the darkness because you have to remember set represents like war and chaos. But, but realize you have to have righteous intent when you use this lower self side of yourself. Like if somebody if like think about it, you can't always be a good person all the time. If somebody run up in your crib, you about to be a righteous person. Be like, oh, we don't got to do this. No, you kill that motherfucker because they're going to try to kill you. You have to tap into your chaos side. But your intent is not wrong because you're trying to survive. You feel me? You have to use this part of yourself to survive, not for a negative intent. Like if you let, let's say you see your homie with all this money. Oh, I'm about to, oh, I'm about to, man, I'm about to rob that nigga, man. This nigga, I'm jealous of him. He got all this money. Let me rob this nigga. You're not using your chaos lower self for righteous intent is for negative intent because you're jealous you're getting in your ego so realize the difference you you, ha you can't abandon your lower self you have to keep your lower self but f use it for protection this is your darkness your chaos but for protection so you can stay so you can stay protected and survive you feel me but that's the root chakra but that's the that that's very deep but after you beat your lower self and you keep control of your lower self and you defeat the inner sets the inner devil within you then this is where you can rise not you can finally rise but i ain't got to go too deep but then you got your other chakras but that's not important right now so also when you beat your lower self you defeat your ego the next thing you have to defeat let me show you on the, let me show you on the chart this is level one we're talking about so right here you start off right here you got you in spirituality you defeat set your ego. Now this is Neft head. This is mortality. Now let me explain mortality. So this is where you 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 um this is where you start to actually think about your soul. You start to realize I'm not just a person that's gonna just die. You feel me? You're, you realize that you're immortal. You live forever. There's more life after this. This is when you realize there's something that this part, net head. Let me say it again. Yeah, net head. This is when you like break from the the physical world. You got to detach. This is detaching. First, you beat your ego. Then, you you detach. When I say detach, you stop always trying to be. You you realize like you know this is not like this is an illusion. Not 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 trying to say throw away your whole experience. No, but you realize like everything here is not valuable as it seems like being a rich person all this money it's temporary you realize all oh, this stuff is temporary it comes and goes i don't need to put my energy to it all the time it's it's you it's basically useless you start to realize you start to detach you detach from negative energy you, you start to detach from negative aspects of self you starting to de detach you you detach basically unplug it from the matrix you detach it from social media you know what i'm saying but this is what it's more about when you when you when you start detaching, um, you start to elevate your mind. You start to realize a lot of things are temporary, but you are immortal. You have an eternal soul. You are you are forever. You realize that this body is just a, a vessel and like a spaceship or whatever. And then after that, you still going to live after that. You feel me? But this is just the level of thinking 
realizing that, you know, it's more to it's more to life after death. You know what I'm saying? When you can when you start to realize you're not just mortal, you're immortal, basically. But when you do this, you have to break from religion because religion keeps you at a mindset that you're just a mortal being. You feel me? They don't let you know that you're a king or God and you live forever. They don't let you know that you're a god or goddess. You feel me? But when you break from religion, because religion keeps you at a mortal state of consciousness, consciousness, make you think, okay, I'm gonna die one day and then I might go to hell. Or, you know the fear shit. But when you defeat your ego, you already gonna be able to defeat this mindset because you're gonna break from fear anyway. But when you at your mortal, at the when you're thinking about mortality, th this is what religion does to you. So. Everything keeps you from rising within yourself. I'm telling you. So religion will distract this side of self, this consciousness of self that is that is supposed to have you realizing that you're immortal. What they want you to do is make sure you think that you're mortal, make you think that there's um there's nothing after this. Basically, they what well, they do say heaven, but it's a white heaven. You know, they're, they're not telling you the truth. So basically, when you defeat your ego, when you beat that, when you be defeat this this consciousness you be, you go to the new consciousness where you realize that you are forever you're immortal you're a strong deity you realize you're a god or a goddess and you realize you are a powerful motherfucker and you are eternal you live forever so this the only way to get here get to this consciousness you have to defeat yo you have to defeat religion bro religion makes you think oh is this god and they try to make you think that it's just one god and stuff and all that bullshit no you are the god but if you still believe in that you're a less you won't you're not going to defeat this level of thinking because you think that this person has rulership of what happens to you when it's all about when it's all about you who dictates what's going to happen to you because this, this is your um journey of life you feel me but religion will not allow you to realize that you're immortal and you're a king you know what i'm saying so when you be defeat what you got to do is defeat religion realize that you are a king a divine being a goddess and then you realize that you're immortal and you, it's much more after this it's much more you feel me so um that's that state of consciousness so this these are the two levels of self you have to defeat it's your ego and your mortal state of state of consciousness you um you got to beat your lo lower self and have control of your lower self and then you have to realize that you are immortal literally you have a, you live forever your your soul is eternal you're powerful you are a divine king being you're a god goddess you define you realize you're a queen this is where you you start to realize how powerful you are that you are the true god or goddess when you tap into this this level of consciousness and you have to remember these are all aspects of self but different consciousness you must um you must take control of and master like your chakras these are levels of self you must control the lower self this is your root you have to control your root your ego your um securities and your your the love for yourself you have to control that and then your um the chakras are basic but then you got to deal with your um sacred chakra that is with creativity so you have to master creativity stuff like that but that's just the chakras but i'm talking about life you feel me but Okay, so you defeated the two levels, but here's my issue. A lot of motherfuckers claim they're spiritual. They still be in religion. You have not beat this level of consciousness at all. How can you claim you're, di you're divine and you still thinking it's Jesus out here? You know what I'm saying? Jesus is not letting you realize you're immortal. You're a, a god or a goddess. So you haven't even beat level. We're all talking. We're, what, I'm, what I just explained to you is level one. You motherfuckers. Is not even ain't even beat level one. They said it's rich. They still be money hungry, seeking validation in their ego. They still be in religion, but they want me to think that they uh, they're a divine being who's a spiritual teacher and try to sell me crystals. You haven't even beat the lowest levels of this shit. So that's my issue with people. Literally, like you haven't beat the two basic levels of this shit, but you want me to spend money with you. You want you want me to expect you are a divine being. That that's why I be kind of salty, but. Okay, let's move on. So I just I just told you two important things. Defeat your ego and defeat your way of thinking that will keep you thinking you're a mortal being and that will keep you in the matrix thinking that this celebrity shit matter. It, you have to detach. This is the, that's the second stage. You detach from worldly worldly desires. You just you detach from worldly desires. You realize money ain't everything. You feel me? You realize Jordan's ain't everything. 
uh, his outfit ain't everything. You realize, you start to realize, like you start having security about yourself and start realizing that everything is temporary and it really don't matter. That's the literally the first level of this shit. But like I said, a lot of people claim to, to be this, but they haven't beat that. You still, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta, but that's, that's the two basic levels of spirituality, literally. Two basic levels, or no, no, that's the first level, but two different consciousness you must master to rise. So, so after you defeat your ego, after you defeat your lower self and you control it and know when is to do it, you got to have the righteous intent. Like I explained, when you realize that and then you break from religion and you realize that you are, you are the God, you are the goddess, and you're immortal, you're a powerful deity. You know, when you, when you, when you um, realize you live forever, you're immortal, then this is where you move on to your eternal soul 